We are talking, I'm giving away a phone, giving away cash, but more importantly, we're gonna be talking about four strategies for investing in Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, all this. this is probably the most common question, and this is the first time I'm really gonna talk about it. Um, and I got a couple of exciting things to announce. I'm, I'm not gonna be here super long because I have to fly, catch a flight. But I'm gonna get, we're gonna get as much stuff as we can talk about. If you notice Bitcoin, popped over $11,000 per Bitcoin and it dropped down again, but um, it's reaching new levels. Pe millionaires have been made, even billionaires have been made. I know some of the crypto billionaire, uh, crypto billionaires. So let's talk. Who here is interested in Bitcoin? By the way, I'm gonna give away this uh, 128 gig black iPhone 7 plus at the end. Plus I'll be giving this 100 bucks, people pay attention. So let's talk about Bitcoin. We'll also, of course, be talking about other cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin is the most common. It's the largest. Uh, for some of you who are advanced, you'll know a lot of this stuff. For those of you, most of the world is not advanced. So I'm actually putting together, uh, I'm gonna announce here a little bit later, on a, a Bitcoin Crypto Academy. For those of you who really wanna learn this thing, I'm flying in the best traders, the best investors, the richest guys in the world that I know personally to do me a favor to teach in this. So um, let's just get, let's just talk about these four strategies. So the first thing you have to understand is there's multiple approaches. So we don't have time to get into all these, but you know, you have the ICO approach. This is approach I'm working on right here initial coin offering. You have people who are trading actively Bitcoin, but more so other coins, okay? So you have the altcoins, the alternatives to Bitcoin. You have, there's other people approach cryptocurrency because they like the blockchain concept, okay? And they like, you know, the technology, for example, the smart contracts aspect of it, which this right here could change the world. These, well, it already is changing the world. Um, some people are, you know, tech coders, but most people that are involved have a common goal. They would like to make money as they do this, whether it's an ICO, whether they're actively trading. Some people are buy and hold. They're using especially Bitcoin as a store of value, okay? Um, like I said, some people are super into alternative coins. There's all, I just had a podcast, Brock Pierce's, um, wife, Crystal Pierce was at my house. She's done an ICO launching an alternative coin. There's thousands of coin. Hers is called the sense coin. You probably saw me doing that. So there, there's all kinds of things going on here. Um, and so usually when people are trading actively, they're doing more of the altcoins, not so much Bitcoin. Then you have over here the blockchain side, smart contracts. The most well-known is Ethereum, okay? Uh, one of the co-founders of Ethereum was at, at my house uh, a couple weeks ago. We went out to a, uh, out for a Halloween party. So the first thing I want you to know in terms of approaching strategies is you have to know, you have to become sophisticated enough to know what's gonna fit your approach. Like I said, some people want to do active trading and they want to trade. It's almost like day trading stocks. I have friends in um, their offshore and these guys have made, they're making, they're trading, you know, 10, $20 million at a time of these currencies. And they're making money. They're making crazy money. Now, of course, there is also the question of, is it a bubble, right? There are famous people saying it's, a bu it's going to be a bubble. Then there's people apologizing because... Uh, they, they are now not so sure. You have people who are fans of Bitcoin, you know, like Andreessen, one of the founders, one of the, the, you know, the OGs of the internet. Bill Gates has talked about it. You have countries like China and Russia that are stamping, you know, putting their foot down and putting regulatory controls on it, especially China around the ICO market. Russia issued their own coins. So let me just talk about this why this is important for you to watch this right now, okay? 
what I want you to know is, well, first of all, one of the things I want you to know is if you had put $100 in Bitcoin in 2010, you know, today you'd have $100 million, approximately, okay? So that's a, that's a part for you to know. <laughs> now, whether you can do that again is another question, whether you'll be able to replicate this. But as we know, there's new currencies being formed. Bitcoin started at zero. You know, originally Bitcoin starts at zero and as it grows, right, its, its value has gone up, it fluctuates. It went up to 11,000, dropped down. Now it's climbing back up again. If you look at uh, Ethereum, it's been rising, 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 and there's so many coins. There's so many, whether it's, you know, Ripple and Litecoin, and like I said, these little teeny coins that you never even heard of. So someone says, is it too late to make millions in Bitcoin? And the answer is, um, I don't think it's too late to make money in crypto. We're gonna talk about Bitcoin. So basically, we're gonna talk about as much as we can, but so you have, the number one traded coin is Bitcoin, all right? We'll look at the market cap. It's, it dwarfs all the other market caps. It by far is the largest coin. Then you have the other big one. Some people call it ETH. Some people call it Ether. Some people call it Ethereum. Kind of the slang for it among the people who are, you know, the big wigs, they call it ETH, but we'll call it Ethereum. Ethereum is an alternative for, it's not just the different coin, it's actually a coin that's built on a different technology, okay? So that's, I don't wanna get too far down this because the goal is not to be confused by this. My goal for this talk, like I said, I gotta head to the airport in about 40 minutes, um, is so that you have an understanding of how to get started. All wealth, all success starts, you know, at just one moment in time. I remember a moment in time in business when I was working in a little closet, basically. It was an office the size of a closet with no windows. I couldn't even lean my chair back. It was so small. And I basically um, start, found the internet, found a new technology, found Google AdWords. And I went from zero to making six figure, making 100 grand a year. And then I figured out how to go to 100 grand a month. I remember doing that. And I remember getting 100 grand a day you know, or 100 grand a week, and then I remember hitting 100 grand a day, and now I make more than that. And so maybe this is your moment in time that you'll be able to look back and go, you know what changed my life? Is when I begin to understand the financial markets. So basically, one of the things I want you to understand is, very simply, you have basically always, for the last 200 years, you've basically had, uh, you know, well, let me actually divide this in thirds, okay? You had your sovereign, currencies, okay? Then you had barter, okay? And now there's something new. So sovereign currency, US dollars, euros, um, you know, you've had, now you've had gold at some point, it was the gold standard. Then it switched off the gold standard about 100 years ago or so. Various stages, it kind of changed around. Uh, you know, you got pounds, and you got pounds, you have yen, you have all these. These are governments creating money. And now it's not really backed by any gold, okay? So it's just, it's backed by what's called the full faith uh, and ability for them to print money. So the reason that you trust US dollars is because there's a government backing it that can tax. If it runs out of money, it can either ta tax us as American citizens, citizens okay, or um, it can print more money. Now, both of those have problems because, of course, if you print more money, you create inflation. If you tax people more, they go offshore. Look at Apple. They got over $200 billion in Ireland, right? Okay. So you've always had barter, and there you had gold too, but you had, you know, I'm watching this show on Netflix where you have pelts um, with Jason Momoa. What's that guy's, Aquaman? What's Aquaman. It? Is it Momoa? Is that how yeah. you say his name? So you had furs, the, they had wampum, you know, that's what the Indians, seashells. And of course you could swap, you know, food or whatever. Now, 
for the last thousands of years, basically since the beginning of mankind, this is all you've had, okay, right here. Now something changed about 10 years ago. It depends when you want to count it. In a sense, virtual currency has existed since even earlier, since the 1990s. But what we're kind of talking about, let's just pick a date and say for about the last 10 years, you have had an alternative to these. But not many people knew about it. But now you know about it because it's all over the news. Okay? Now you know about it because you everybody here probably has heard the word Bitcoin. You might not know what it is. You might not know if it'll help you. You might not know if you're going to profit from it, but that's why you're here right now. So in the last 10 years, there's been development of something that really you should call cryptocurrency, and it develops a, with a certain type of technology called blockchain because it's basically electronic money. Um, some people say it's a little bit like Excel. It's a little bit like a spreadsheet. So think of how barter used to work. You know, you would give somebody fur and they'd give you something back, but what if you wanted to like say, don't pay me and pay this person instead, and you'd create this like ledger. You would write stuff out. You could do it on Excel, you could do it on a spreadsheet, and you could keep track. They call that even now with cryptocurrency, they call that the ledger. But I don't want to get too advanced. I just want you to understand that all of these things are changing these, and it's probably not going to stop. Even if Bitcoin prices go down, they went down, they went up to 11,000, they went down, right? Even if that happens, that doesn't mean there's not going to be a continual growth of this. One of the case in points is if you live in Venezuela right now, if you live in certain countries in Africa right now where there's hyperinflation, where literally a billion of their dollars is only worth a nickel, guess what they're using instead? They're using Bitcoin right now in countries of, like Africa. And that's good news, which means this probably is not going to go away. You know how much money is sent from country to country? Like people, you know, illegal immigrants work in Mexico, from Mexico. They come to America. They work here, and they send money back to their parents or their family in Mexico, right? Well, guess what? Right now, they've been using Western Union. Sometimes they mail money. If you use Western Union, there's incredible fees because um, Western Union has, takes on a risk. They hold the money, and the exchange rate theoretically could cost. Anyway, not to get too complex, but there's problems. If you bring cash, you get robbed and all that. Well, what's probably going to change the world, or and already is, is the growth of this. And in the last while, I've, I've had some a really a unique opportunities. Some of the stuff that I'm sharing with you um, is coming from the most powerful people in the cryptocurrency world, okay? If you've seen my Snapchat for the last while, I've been going around all over the place, flying, jetting around, being with some of the most powerful people in this game. Like I said, the co-founder of Ethereum, the market makers, the big ICO people, um, the, the founders of what we now know. Now, Bitcoin, nobody knows who founded it. Some people think it was one guy, and some people of course, think it's a conspiracy and it's super smart people and all this stuff that like a little consortium group. It's like the Illuminati or something like that. Now, so the first strategy is just, I mean, the first thing to understand is it's not just Bitcoin. That's what I've been trying to say. It's not just Bitcoin. The second thing, like I said, is you have to understand before you should invest in anything, you should understand it. That before you invest, this is the first rule. If you ask Warren Buffett, who's, you know, made over, well, his company does $200 billion a year. Warren Buffett says, don't invest in what you don't know in. Uh, well, don't invest in what you don't know, not don't invest in what you don't know in. So if you don't know anything about, that's why I'm giving you this background so you begin to understand, you know, like, okay, this thing makes sense. It's kind of an alternative to bartering things. It's kind of an alternative to the U.S. dollar. It's, there's multiple currencies, not just Bitcoin. It's using a technology called blockchain. There's other technologies too. We talk about smart contracts. And it's electronic money is one way to think about it. Instead of having a wallet in the future, you're probably just going to walk around with this thing, your phone, right? And your virtual wallet. 
Now they already kind of have that with Apple Wallet and all that stuff, but you know, that's under the control of Apple. Do you really want all your money to be under the control of one company? What this does is it decentralizes. So one of the things that you need to understand making money, you got to understand the decentralized economy. Just imagine this. Um, there's a guy named Brock Pierce, and he's one of the big crypto billionaire guys. And, and I was at his house. He invited me there a couple months ago, and we were talking. And he gave this talk just to me and Rome and, and my business partner, Alex Marin. He was talking about the future of the decentralization so that no longer does the U.S. government control all money. No longer does you know, Zimbabwe, the, the, the dictators there, control the people. No longer does Venezuela have massive you know, problems in terms of people who live there can't store their money because it's now you know, not. It's continually be either there's deflation or inflation, right? Inflation is the worst. My grandma lived in Germany in the 1920s and there was inflation at such a point where you didn't even want to get paid in money. So what can the decentralization do? Well, probably your house. Instead of just buying a house and having to get a loan from a bank, you might get 10,000 people to buy the house with you and you pay them off slowly. You could decentralize it. So no longer does Bank of America, does Chase, does the Freddie Mac, uh, for, you know, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, no longer do these big government banks control the whole thing. The biggest part of the world right now, 15% of the U.S. economy, is financial transactions. The largest part of the U.S. Trillions and trillions, and that's just in the U.S. Now, there's still going to be banks, but they're getting competition. So one of the things that I want you guys to understand is, remember how I said 100 bucks in Bitcoin in 2010 turns into $100 million now, okay? Well, I don't want you to miss out because I believe it's not too late for you. And I don't care if you have a lot of money, if you have a small amount of money. You can buy, they, they basically took Bitcoin and they fractionalized it into, inf I mean, you can buy a teeny, if you can't afford one whole Bitcoin at eight, 10, nine, 10, 11,000 dollars, um, you can buy a teeny, 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 teeny fraction of it, okay? So it's not too late for you, but, but it will get harder to make money. So the longer you wait, the worse it gets. For example, if you had, I have a friend, he bought 800 Bitcoins. Let's just put this in. He lives in South America. He bought 800 Bitcoins at $1,000. He had some money in savings. Oops, sorry, 800. So he bought it at 1,000. So he put in 800 grand. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, he put that in. Guess what, it, when it, if he had sold, when it shot up to 11,000, dollars, oops, 800 times 11,000 roughly, it's $8.8 .8 million. Not bad, right? You get a 10x your money in a very short period of time. He's not a billionaire. Someone said, no, he didn't quite make a billion dollars, but there are people that have made a billion dollars. Two years ago, there's guys sleeping on their couches who I know right now are worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Somebody said, Ty, is Bitcoin going to crash? Well, we do know this. Everything that goes up must come down. We do know that nothing can grow infinitely forever. Bitcoin, one Bitcoin will never be worth $10 trillion. So at some point it slows down and for sure it goes up and down right now. So the question is, will cryptocurrency, all of the coins, let me show you something. If you just go here and you, I'll show you how many different currencies there are besides. So if you just go to uh, block uh, Bitcoin market cap, you can just Google it with me if you want. The, the first couple websites that pop up. So you can see there's a website here and let me put here, coin market cap. We'll just tell you all the, how much Bitcoin, 
is right now at 10,666. Ethereum's at 457. You got Bitcoin Cash, the third biggest, Ripple, Dash, Bitcoin Gold, Litecoin, IOTA, Monero, Ethereum Classic. You, you got all these, and you get Neo. I mean, you can go down. Look at this. Look how far down we can go. So, number 100 right now is Aragon, Aeon, Counterparty, Popcoin, Navcoin, VeChain, Nexus, Zencash. So the question is, will all of them go down? Probably not. What will happen is some will go down and some will go up. It's like the stock market a little bit, okay? Except it's not the stock market. That's the whole crazy thing. It's not controlled by, you know, one board in New York City. The regular stock market is controlled by, depending on which one you look at, you know, New York Stock Exchange. That's its own, it's a company. So is NASDAQ. OK, and if you look, you know, the Hang Seng and you've got the foot, you got these comp, uh, uh, the London Stock Exchange and you have India has a stock exchange. This is no government. This is no borders, man. This thing is basically determined right now by supply and demand. One of the common things that people bring up about cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, why they say it's going to crash, is they say there's nothing behind it. And there's truth to that, and it's also a false statement. There's truth and there's falsity to that. The truth is, in a way, there is nothing. Bitcoin's not something you can hold in your hand. There's no Bitcoin like this. You can't print out Bitcoin. I mean, you can print out like your screenshot or something, but there's nothing. But that's very similar to your bank account right now. Log into your Bank of America bank account. There's, you can't print. I mean, you can print the page, but you can't take your Bank of America log in, screenshot of your balances and go to a store and go, I'd like food, right? So what determines the US dollar's value? What determines the euro? Supply and demand, okay? So as long as people are demanding Bitcoin and what's happening, if you look at Coinbase is one of the largest wallets or the is the largest, they had like in the last week, they had like 10 million new wallets created. Now that doesn't mean 10 million unique new people, because some people open more than one, but I mean millions of people. And the more people who use it, the less likely probably that it is to be to crash. But the US dollar could crash, the euro could crash, you know, all currencies can crash. So you want to diversify, probably, you don't want to put everything, all your eggs in one basket, but you probably don't want to miss out on this trend. Okay, you probably don't want to miss out on this trend. So one of the things, and like I said, I gotta go to the airport here in a little bit, but I'm gonna try to get, what time is it? 7.11? Yeah, so I got 29 minutes to talk to you guys. Um, I'm gonna put up a link in a second. I'm creating a small group of you. I'm flying in the top cryptocurrency uh, experts, traders, investors, millionaires, billionaires, and I'm making a basically a secret online, it's not secret because I'm announcing it here live, but I'm making a academy that you can do, you can go through on your phone. We'll take you step by step. Give me two months, 60 days, and we'll train you. It's not even launch. It, it won't be released till next week, but I'm going to let you guys, for those of you who want to get early access, I'm going to let you in um, at a lower cost. Now, this is not for everybody. I'm telling you, the guys that I'm bringing in, I can't even announce. One thing about cryptocurrency, it's somewhat of a um, secret world right now. Because remember, a lot of people don't want to, you, theoretically with Bitcoin, you can hide your identity fully. You know, there's people using all kinds of techniques. There's people creating many, many different wallets and stuff like that. So um, there's people using VPNs and things like that. So I, I think that it's important for you to know that um, some of these people I'm going to bring in to teach, I might not even be able to put their face on the camera. We might do one of those things like in the mafia, like a trial where you like change their voice and put a dot over their face. But trust me, you guys probably saw a couple months ago, I did a crypto dinner at my house. I invited 33 of the top crypto people that we had the big, you probably remember if you saw, you know, we had some of the big market makers there. Um, you saw guys like Brock and Amir and all these kind of, um, like I said, the, I don't even know if they're going to teach, but I'm going to ask them. And I've got guys already lined up to teach. Some of them are going to say no, and some are going to say yes. The one advantage that I have that will help you is I have access 
to a lot of these interesting people. Um, so somebody said they've done that before. They had your buddy disguise his voice. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'm gonna put up a link in a little bit. If you wanna get in, I'm gonna let you, a small group of you, I'm never gonna let, it's never gonna be, I do these talks on social media, but I'm never gonna freaking put it like all this on my YouTube because here's the problem. The people who really know, who can teach you how to trade, who can teach you how to invest, you know what? They, ain't get, they don't really wanna be all over YouTube. If you go to YouTube right now and you type in, you know, Bitcoin and stuff, you get all these people who haven't really made that much money. I'm bringing in people who made 100 million bucks, 200 million bucks, 500 million dollars. People have done ICOs over 500 million. I mean, these are the big, big people. So if you want to learn from the best, and that's how I'm continuing to learn. This is so new that nobody knows everything. There's only a few people who have really been in crypto for more than five years. There's only a few, trust me. Most people have only been in this game two years. Like I said, some of you take someone like Brock Pierce has been in this thing since in the 90s before cryptocurrency, just virtual currencies. There's a few people like that, but I wanna show you the average person, whether you're young, old, you know, middle age, if you wanna not be left out of this trend, I, give me 60 days. We're gonna show you how to start investing in it. We'll talk about the different currencies that you can get. We'll, we'll talk about, you know, the wallets. We'll talk about alternative coins to Bitcoin. We'll talk about the pros and cons. We'll talk about ICOs, which is a whole nother world out there. This is our initial coin office offerings, how you can actually raise money for your business idea using cryptocurrency. Um, that's a whole, literally, we're gonna include a whole part on that. And we're gonna be talking about things like smart contracts, how they'll be used. Eventually they'll be used instead of stock options. So when stocks go up and down, you use options, right? To hedge your bets, that's the same thing that's gonna be happening. Uh, with cryptocurrency using things like Ethereum smart contracts. And basically, some of you are gonna learn how to be cryptocurrency entrepreneurs. I got a buddy of mine raised 30 million bucks for his entrepreneurial venture in Ether, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. And he did that last year. His, basically, his net worth, he went up $30 million this year, okay, from an ICO. So we're gonna talk about that, that's a big, part of this program. Um, I'm, gonna add, I'm gonna put the link up. Now, so here's the deal. I'm gonna give you guys pre-access. What that means is you will be the initial people in this Bitcoin Crypto Academy. Online, you access it on your phone, you can access it on your laptop, you're gonna get a special password, a uh, special login, don't share that. If you share it with people, you're gonna be locked out of it and blocked forever, okay? So all this stuff, man, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you. This is the exact same people who are training me. When I wanna learn something new, I go straight to the top. So if you wanna get trained along the, by the exact, like I said, millionaires, 100 million, billionaires, the big crypto traders, the people, like I said, I'm not even gonna be able to say all of their names. Some of them will put up pictures and videos and some of them are gonna wear a freaking mask or some of them are gonna just be audio. So you're gonna get videos, you're gonna get audio. It will come out next week, okay? So you're gonna get in. I'm gonna put it at a lower price because you know, you're getting in early and now I'm gonna take this down. So I'm gonna have this up for the next uh, one hour. Uh, I'm gonna be here for about, how many more minutes? What time is it? I'm gonna be here for 20 more minutes answering questions on it. And then um, I'll leave it up for another 45 minutes while I'm driving to the airport, okay? Someone says, Ty knows so much about a wide range. He hooks up with the best teachers. Dude, you gotta get the best teachers. You wanna learn this thing of Bitcoin, crypto? I'm telling you, I've been on YouTube, I've Googled it. All those people teaching, they know a little bit, but they're not the people making big money. You think somebody making $50 million is just gonna go make a YouTube video and tell everybody how to do it? The only reason that I have access is a lot of these guys are friends or friends of friends. So I can ask them for a favor. Yo man, will you record one video for my secret crypto you know, uh, Bitcoin Academy? And they'll be like, all right, I'll do one. And then it'll be a compilation of, and that's better. Instead of just learning from one person, because I see I'm on Twitter's big on cryptocurrencies. There's these individuals that think they know everything about crypto. There is no one person 
smart enough to fathom everything that's going on with the decentralization of the entire financial world, man. <laughs> you think there's one guru that you can get all your answers from? No. But if you get the collective mind from the top 10 or 20 people, you're going to learn from different balanced perspectives, if that makes sense. Okay? So I'm going to put up a link here. Oh, so you should see the link. For those of you on YouTube, it's in the title. Twitter, it's in the title. It's clickable. Facebook, it's in the title. You're going to be learning about Bitcoin. You're going to be learning how to make money, how to buy it, how to trade it. You're going to be learning about the alternative currencies. You're going to le learn about how to use it to raise money for a company, possibly for your idea. We're going to talk about advanced techniques. We're going to talk about alternative coins. We're going to be talking about smart contracts. We'll be talking about, and like I said, some of these people who are building, who are going to be teaching you are the founders or on the boards. That's who you want to learn from. You know, you don't want to learn from somebody. They're, right now, one problem in crypto and Bitcoin, everybody thinks they're an expert because they're buying, they're buying Bitcoin now and it's going up and they're like, see how genius I am? I'm like, nah, that's not you. That's a rising tide that's raising you up. So there's a lot of people that think, I don't even think I'm a genius in this area. Okay? Someone said the link didn't work. If the link didn't work, you can go here. Well, now, one of the things you're going to get is, hey, I'm also building by next week, I will have a special private Facebook group. Okay? The special private Facebook group is going to be badass. The value you're going to pay for this to be in the um, online Bitcoin Academy is going to be just for the Facebook group. I'm going to bring in badass people. You'll be learning from other people. It'll be a very active Facebook group. So you'll only, it's private Facebook group, only for those people who get in the program. All right, let's do, Ty, what's a good amount to start in Bitcoin? Start with what you, start always with disposable income. Do not bet all your money, do not bet your rent money, do not bet your kids' tuition, do not bet money, you know, like, okay. I see people pouring in. Huang Win, congratulations. Where do you live? Damn, everything's all crashed. This is Yahoo Mail. Did we crash Yahoo Mail? <laughs> I get my alerts there when people join these test groups. Let me close every other window. All right. Let's see who just got in. For some of you, it's working. Okay, let me take some quick questions. Somebody said, yeah, just keep, I'm gonna leave it open for another hour after I get on here just to give you guys a chance, then I'm gonna take it down. So people are gonna be, just keep refreshing the page. Okay, congratulations, Mal Malachi Ferdinand. I'm trying to get Malachi. Even my Yahoo, what is up with you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off my wireless, see if that loads it faster. Malachi, congratulations. You know what it did? Damn charger. Yeah, let me see. All right, congratulations to Craig Lamaru in Alberta, Canada. Welcome to the group. Congratulations to Kelly Chen, Massachusetts. Now let me just be clear, let me be clear. It's launching next week. You're getting a special price because, so don't go, how come I didn't work right away? It'll be up next week, okay? It'll be up next week. I'm just giving you a preview, okay? Someone says it's not working. I know that. We crashed it. Ty, what's your opinion on Litecoin? Invested $200. Okay, here's the thing. Let me just show you. One of the things that I want you guys to learn Remember, the principles of investing, and this is what I'll be teaching in the course, are generic, meaning a good real estate investor will understand how to do Bitcoin. Because once you understand how to do real estate, you understand the fundamental. Now, of course, you've got to learn the specifics of cryptocurrency, but the same principles apply. For example, you've got to understand that things go up and down, and you actually want them to go down. Some people go, ah, oh, what would you do if Bitcoin crashed all the way down to a thousand bucks? You know what I would do? Buy that shit up. You buy it at a thousand, probably gonna go back up to 10, 15,000, you'll 10X your money. So some people don't understand the rules of investing. So they're freaked out and they sell low and buy high and then no, 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 no. Okay, 
I just want to add that, you know, I said I'd give you four principles. The fourth principle is advanced investing techniques, which I'm going to teach you over the next two months, me and this group of people, they work on crypto, they work on the stock market, they work on real estate, they work in business. You know in business, when there's an cr economic crash, you can buy businesses. I don't, I'm not afraid of that. I'm not afraid. Somebody said, Ty, can you not spell? Is that why you scribble? What, you don't think I have great handwriting? Come on, man. C-R-Y-P-T-O, crypto. I don't even know what I wrote there. Oh, stock. That's real, R-E-L. I'm not so bad at smell it, spelling. Okay, let's talk about some other things. Let, let's talk about, um, so the vast investing techniques. Most people are afraid of this. Why? Why are you afraid of this? Why are you afraid of this? If you buy a house here and it crashes, what are you afraid of? That it won't, does it still have a roof? Does it still serve the utilitarian function? Okay, well if it serves the utilitarian function, you're good. Because guess what? The market will come back. People need a place to stay. So the question is not, is Bitcoin going to go up and down? You should pray it goes up and down. Because you only lose if you sell. So if you bought Bitcoin at 10000 and it drops to 8000 and you sell here because you have a heart attack because you don't understand the principles of investing, you don't understand investor techniques, this is what millionaires understand. As long as the underlying utility is still there, and as I've said, I believe the underlying utility of cryptocurrencies, some of them will go up, some of them will go down. There's people trading. You're going to learn in this program how to trade between. So some people will take the profits from Bitcoin and flip it into another coin. They'll buy Ether with it, you know? So there's so much. If you can keep a cool head, if you cannot flip out, can I see your mail? Yeah. If you can not flip out, you'll be good. I gotta unplug this thing. People freak out too much. We live in a world where people have too much anxiety. The goal is that whether you become, yeah, this is, of course is not saying that everybody's going to become a crypto billionaire. For those of you who get in this group, the private Facebook group will be up next week. It's tylopez.com slash Bitcoin, except so many people are going here to get in. We have crashed. My website, which I guess is kind of good, but kind of bad. By the way, why am I charging money for this? Two reasons. One, I don't want to go, like in life you have to make some profit. But number one, I'm going to fly, I'm already flying in some of the best people in the world. So I have costs, expenses, video team, all that stuff. Um, number two, it's working now? Okay, it's working now. Number two, I've learned if people won't pay for stuff, they ain't serious. The average person spends 800 bucks a year on coffee. So, you know, if you're serious about this, you'll do it. And if you're not serious, then you shouldn't be in the group. I want serious people in the group. I want people who are going to share in the Facebook private group. I want people that um, understand that there's a lot here to learn, that are willing to put in two months. You're going to log in on your phone. You're going to get a special password. You're going to be able to log in on your phone. You're going to be able to log in your laptop, or you can download the audio. You can listen to it on the way to work. You can listen to it while you're on the treadmill. You can listen to it while you're laying in bed. You can watch videos if you prefer that, or you can listen to audio. We're going to take you step by step through every aspect of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. It's my Bitcoin Crypto Academy. That's the test group. Those of you who got in, I'll see you in the group. I'll be in that face group. Uh, Facebook group will be talking. I'll be introducing you to badass people. We got Canadians, we have Europeans, we have Asians, we have South Americans, we have Americans. Everybody's getting in because, because the most important thing is there's a lot of misinformation. My goal for you is that you get the best information, the best techniques, the best strategies on making money, investing, storing money, trading money with Bitcoin and all the alternative or other cryptocurrencies. That's my goal for you. We're going to be talking about how to store your passwords. Zach's uncle 
was given a thousand dollars in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin like two or three years ago and he can't find his password and guess what guess what he probably has five hundred thousand dollars and he can't find his password one thing about Bitcoin it's no joke if you lose it they are there are so many um, there are so many permutations of a password that you can't be hacked so if you lose your password there's more possibilities on the passwords than there are all the sand. If you imagine every grain of sand in the world right now on every beach, and then every one of those grains was a universe that had another set of, or was another world with grains. That's about the odds that you can randomly guess the hash, okay, that they use for crypto. You're probably not gonna guess. Now there have been people who hack into accounts, but they do things like, you know, somebody writes their password on a piece of paper and their person sitting in the cubicle next to them sees it. But trust me, it's very simple. You're getting the Bitcoin Crypto Academy. It's an online program, 60 days, two months. You get access on a phone to a special login and password. I'm bringing in the best teachers. We're recording videos with them, audio with them. We will also have live calls. We'll have live calls you'll get access to, meaning you'll be able to ask questions to top crypto traders, crypto experts, crypto investors, founders of coins, you know. Well, you'll also get access to a private Facebook group, which will be launched next week. You'll be one of the first founding people in it. It will be an active group. You can ask questions. You can learn real time. Ty, if the grid goes down, what then? The good thing about um, crypto technology and cryptocurrency is it's not just no, if the whole Los Angeles power grid or we were hit by a nuclear bomb the ledger is spread out the ledger is how you basically keep track of uh, you know these transactions it's spread throughout the whole world so as long if the whole world explodes then we're you're in trouble but if it's not like you know Google if one set of servers gets destroyed, a lot of data is destroyed. It's spread, it's decentralized, decentralized. Remember that, that's the power of this bo bad boy. We'll talk about crypto mining too. One of my buddies is one of the big crypto miners. They got big servers and spending crazy money. We'll be talking about, it. all this sounds crazy, but let me just say, I'm gonna end with this. It wasn't too long ago that the internet sounded crazy. In 1994, when Jeff Bezos says he was going to start Amazon, people said, oh, what is this? Oh, this is a scam. This is, there's actually old YouTubes where you can see news reporters talking about it. What is this? This sounds weird. This is, a, this is a crazy fad. Well, guess what? Jeff Bezos just passed $100 billion net worth because he caught a trend. He wasn't the first, but he wasn't the last. My mentor used to say, never be the first or the last to, try, to, to test and get involved in something new. You don't, you're not the first. This thing's been around about a decade at least, depending on how you count. It's really gotten hot in the last two years, okay? So you're not, but you're not too late. But if you wait too long, you will be late. And it'll get hard. It doesn't mean it'll disappear, the opportunities. What it means is it will be harder to make money. If you had gotten Bitcoin at $100, would be better than getting in at $8,000, okay? Someone said ETH is 2.0, EOS is 3.0. Yes, I know the founder of EOS, Brock. He's a friend of mine. And he's built EOS, which is a whole nother competitor to Ethereum. It's another blockchain technology. They've raised over $500 million already for their ICO. Maybe it's up to a billion now. I can't even, I don't have time to get into all the craziness. Um, EOS wife, the sense girl, yes, Crystal. I'll try to let you in on some stuff. Some of you, I've been snapping a little bit where I've been around the world, around all, jetting around with some of these crypto monsters. I'm talking monsters. We're talking people who got, you know, 700 million bucks, 100 million bucks, 900 million dollars, billion. There's a few crypto billionaires in the world. 